then all of a sudden, ma, AIDS. <laughs> and there's nothing funny about AIDS, children. His... All right, I'm the last one. All right, let's see if there's energy in the room. How are we doing? Yes, yes. You know what? That response, that response is one of the main reasons I love doing stand-up, you know, because, like, what other profession can you ask, how are you? And it's all right to reply, woo! Where? Maybe a, maybe a crack house, but in normal life. You can't do that shit at the office, can you? Can't be by the printer. Oh, hi, Sharon. I haven't, I haven't seen you in, in ages. How, how are, whoa! Oh, my God, Sharon. Sharon, Sharon, do you know what I mean? You get drug tested, do you know what I mean? It's not, it's not a good day for Shazza. It's a good day for me though, I'm here with you guys tonight. It's, uh, it's lovely to be here, my name is Wes. I'm from Essex. Yep. This, is, this is what we look like now. Uh, this is what you're getting. This is how it is. I know as soon as I say it, I'm from Essex, Got some people out here looking at me like, what, Essex? <laughs> Lip fillers and fake tan have come a long way, haven't they? <laughs> Look at that, fucking hell. Is that cultural appropriation? Is that... No comment. Yeah, man. I was actually born in London, uh, but Essex is where I, I grew up, and it's where I went to school. I was thinking about school recently. It's crazy, like, we've all been to completely different schools. But despite that, everyone has at least had a version of this one teacher. This is the teacher that you're in class, you can leave leaning on your, if you're leaning on your chair and you lean back, it's as if you were smoking crack. Do you know this guy? There's always at least one. Yeah? So you're in class, you're bored, you're like, let me lean on my chair, no big deal, right? <laughs> Wrong. And at that exact moment, the teacher will disappear from the whiteboard and reappear next to the window. <laughs> you remind me of a boy I once knew. <laughs> hmm. Timmy, I think it was, yes. Chipper chap, Timmy. Always swinging on that goddamn chair. Reckless. He was told countless times to, to stop. Did he stop? Did he fuck? Until one day, he smashed his head on the table. Did he die? <laughs> oh, he wished. The blunt force trauma made it so he couldn't pass a single exam, which as we all know, is the most important thing in life, isn't it? Yes. He grew up jobless and poor. Things took a turn for the better for Timmy. He met his wife, Sharon. They had three children. They were happy. And then all of a sudden, ah! AIDS. <laughs> and there's nothing funny about AIDS, children. His, his wife took the kids in the house and he spent the rest of his days alone. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Well, stop swinging on that goddamn chair. <laughs> and you never believe him. You always like to your friend, you're like, that story's not real. That story is real. How do you know, sir? Because I am Timmy. <laughs> oh God, I'm Timmy. <laughs> oh God. Oh. Oh, Sharon, oh God, you took my babies. Why do you take my babies, you bitch? Oh God, oh God. Sir, are you all right? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> what? <sighs> I must say, that was a weird day to have Ofsted in, but... <laughs> but anyway. I personally would never have, uh, I never had a mental breakdown in school. Uh, and that's because I'm from Caribbean descent. Bomber Clark. <laughs> I am, yeah, I'm from, I'm from Caribbean descent. Boyakasha. And, um, <laughs> no, because I'll explain. Like, when, like, you get quite a strict upbringing from Caribbean parents. So all, all my mental breakdowns happened at home. <laughs> that was a new one. Okay. <laughs> you know? Have you ever had it where you accidentally tuck or kiss your teeth at something your parents said and you realize, oh, my life's on the line now. 
be in my room, minding my own business, playing Crash Bandicoot, you know the vibes. Mum will come in with her catchphrase, Wesley, this room is a pigsty. Get off that game and clean it now. All right, Mum, after this level, no, I said now, you turn it off or I will. <sighs> and all I could think to do to get myself out of that guaranteed death sentence was just act like I was beatboxing the whole time, just uh, It's tidy up time. It's tidy up time. It's tidy up time. It's tidy up time. I love my mommy. Yeah, I'm Wes the Boy. Thanks for listening.